Okay, in this session, we're gonna take a look at managing notifications. So the first thing we wanna do is to open the settings app. And in settings, we want to find notifications on the left-hand side. So here's our notifications right below do not disturb. And so we'll go ahead and tap on that. I'm already in the notifications here. Um, we'll talk about do not disturb here in just a second. But first we wanna take a look at the notifications themselves. So we can see what's in our notification center. And these are the applications that I get notifications on. Down below here are the applications that are not in the notification center. So I have turned these off or I've chosen not to get notifications from these, which is kind of nice. So let's say um, this Google Maps right here is sending me notifications that's distracting me or causing me problems. I can go in and I can turn that off or I can manage the type of notification that I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Maps and we can take a look up here at the top. Notification Center is turned on. So if I'm getting notifications, I don't want notifications, the first thing I would do is simply turn that off. And now I'm not gonna get notifications on this particular, um, on this particular application. Or if I leave it on, then I can choose to show um, if I want the alert to be in the middle of the screen, if I want it to be a banner, or if I don't want any sort of alert to pop up at me. Um, so at least it won't jump up in my face if I, if I say none here. Okay, I would have to go and try and do that on purpose. And I can go look at those notifications by simply pulling down the top bar up here and I can look at my notifications. So if I pull that down from the very top, I can always go look at my notifications, although they might not be sending me alerts. But if I don't want any, I just simply turn that off right there. So I'm gonna go back to my notifications here. So that's how I can turn them on and off. I would recommend highly for students to go into their messages and to at minimum turn their notifications on messages to none because it becomes very distracting when you're trying to do work and your friend or even your parent is messaging you while you're trying to concentrate on reading because it's gonna pop up right in front of your face. And then by just a natural sense of people, we want to reply to that immediately and not wait until we have time. So if you turn it off, then you have to go manually check your messages or manually check your notifications and you usually do that when you have time or when you have a break in your work, which is more appropriate time to check your notifications, especially on messages. So that would be my recommendation there. The other thing you can do is turn on do not disturb. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see it's off for me right now, but if I was to turn it on, here are my settings for do not disturb. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and I can see that I have it scheduled right now from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m to not disturb me if I have it turned on, which means that incoming FaceTime calls and messages aren't going to send me a, an alert during those time. So this is another good technique if um, you want your child to set the do not disturb um, during the school day or until their homework's done to, you know, like the do not disturb from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, you can do that, or if, or if you're having a problem with it going off at night, you can, you can set it to be even uh, more restrictive than that. So you simply turn on the time that you want, and then on the left-hand side here, you, you have to turn it on for it to be active. And it's very easy for all these things to be turned on and off uh, when you're ready to do so. So go through with your child and look at the notification center that they have set up and kind of help them manage this, and that'll give you a good sense of what they have turned on and what they have turned off.